Hello students, we will discuss one case study problem here which is based on the chapter applications of trigonometry. Okay, and before knowing the data, we will see a note which is related to the case study. Radio towers are used for transmitting a range of communications. Of course, we all know and you would have seen this towers, right? Including radio, these, uh, these towers are transmitting. They are majorly helping for communication. And they are uh, serving, they are providing the service for radio and TV. The tower will either act as an antenna itself and support one or more antennas on it structure, including microwave dishes. They are among the tallest hum human made structures. Of course, we have to accept this. It is on the Manishan Uruvakana, tallest towers. Abdin Salala. There are two main types guide and self supporting. Urusilla towers come on the end of a support me tevila, stretta nikum, stretta abdinikum. But Urusilla towers one day in a wire which join panir panga. And the wire the one and the towers and nikaviko. Other and the wires are one guide wires abdin Salvanga. Now, if you have a particular case, you can calculate what you can calculate. On a similar concept, a radio station tower was built in two sections. Of course, in the world, radio tower is two sections. Okay? And uh, A and B in the section of Mark A and B are the two sections which are supported from a point O. So, in the or particular point which is on ground, this is the guide wires which is connect. So, OA is one guide wire, OB is another guide wire which is um, supporting this tower, which are supporting the towers. That is the number. Then, distance between the base of the tower. So, usually, or tower which is not exactly in line shape. But, for mathematical convenience, we will assume that as line, isn't it? So, now we are taking this AP as full tower, okay? And which has more sec sections in it, okay? And we will take PA, whose length is unknown, whose height is unknown as of now. And uh, there is a point which is on ground, which is named as O. And from the point, we are sending we are uh, we have connected two guide wires to the tower okay and from that uh, one of the guides wire from that we are uh, it has angle of elevation as 45 degree and for the section b it has angle of elevation as 30 degree okay now the angle of elevation of the top of the section b is 30 degree and to the top of the section A is 45 degree. This is given. So now we can see two triangles inside. Not two triangles exactly. It has three triangles in it. Okay. So now we will calculate the required angles. We will see the first question given based on this case. They are asking for the height of the section B. So height of the section B means we will see. They are asking for this section height of the section b okay so to know this we are we are uh, taking this angle which is 30 okay and the ratio which connects this known measure and this unknown measure is tan so tan 30 degree we will calculate tan 30 degree now so tan 30 tan theta is opposite by adjacent so here for this tan 30 adjacent is 36 and opposite is pb Okay, so now we will calculate the tan 30 degree is equal to PB by OP, OP by adjoint, adjacent side and tan 30 degree is 1 by root 3, PB is what we required and um, adjacent side is nothing but the distance between foot of the tower and the point O which is 36 meter and after simplifying we are getting 1 by 3 into 36 which is equal to P and we know this 36 can be written as 12 into 3 and usually we won't keep this uh, root 3 in denominator. So 3 can be written as root 3 into root 3. So we are 
we have written this 3 as root 3 into root 3 and we have cancelled that with denominator and we got this 12 root 3 as final answer. So 12 root 3 meter is the is the height of the section B. Okay. And mostly they won't ask you to give the answer in decimal form because this root 3 is an irrational number and they will give you an approximated measure for the root 3. If you start multiplying that number with 12, you will spend more time on this calculation process itself. So to avoid that, mostly they will try to give you the answer in irrational form itself. Okay. You don't have to find out what is the root 3 and, val and its values and all. Now, what is the height of the section A? So the section A is which is located just above the section B. Yes. So in section, um, we need to know the height of the section A. Section A is from this point A to this point B. Okay. So we will calculate the entire tower's length. And from that, we will remove this PB. Hence, we will get AB. AB is the length of the or height of the section A. Yes, we will calculate PA from the entire height. We will remove this PB. As a result, we will get this AB. Okay, what is the height of the section A they are asking for? So again, from uh, to angle of elevation of the point of uh, angle of elevation to look section A is 45 degree. So we have taken 45 degree again opposite by adjacent PA by 36. So 36 meter into PA and we got PA as okay. We got PA as 36 meter. Okay. So we got OP we are given OP 36 and we got OA as PA as 36. Now we are going to know we are going to remove this PB from this PA because PA is sum of PB and PA sorry AB so 36 minus PB will give us AB AB is what the height of the section A so we have calculated this PB in the previous problem we are just substituting that here so 36 minus 12 root 3 and from this 36 36 can be written as 12 into 3 minus 12 into root 3 so we can take 12 common so we'll have 3 minus root 3 in bracket so this is what the height of the small section i mean section a so which represents the solution option c represents the solution okay even in the first problem uh, 12 root 3 no so option a now third problem what is the length of the wire structure from the point o to the top of section a okay so top of section so length of the wire guide wire so from point o to this top of section a which means they are asking for oa length so if you see the triangle pao they are asking for that hypotenuse okay so this one will be a right angle anyway and this is 45 degree and this angle also will be 45 degree and this OA will represent its hypotenuse, isn't it? So we will apply known concept to get that because the triangle is a right triangle. In a right triangle, Pythagoras theorem is applicable. Yes, so OA square which is we required, OA value is what we need. That is nothing but length of the wire which joins o, the point O and the point A. Okay. So PS. Okay. We have got PA value in the second. In the previous case. And OP value is given. And we have squared both the values. Which has been equated to OA square. So these two terms. When we add these two. We will get 2 into 36 square. Correct. Which is equal to OA square. Now. We need OA length. So for OA length, we are just taking square root. Square root of 2 will be root 2. Square root of 30, 36 square will be 36. So we got square 36 root 2, which is option D. Okay. So third one option D. 
now moving on to fourth problem here again they are asking what is the length of the wire structure from the point o to the top of the section b which means here they are asking for this bo length again for this you have we have to consider the triangle pbo okay uh, and we know this pb length which is 12 root 3 yes and this op length is 36 so by applying pythagoras theorem we can uh, find out that required value um so ob square again ob square is equal to pb square plus op square okay and pb square we have calculated already and P op square is given in the question so we are have applied this and in this here we have uh, just to do the calculation process only so here 36 here it is 12 into 12 into 12 into 3 plus 36 square so this one can be written as 4 3s are 4 3 are 12 and 3 we have and here it is 12 okay okay we can do any manipulation okay so here i have followed this so 36 and 48 i got and after taking square root for that i got 36 48 can be written as 12 into 4 okay so 12 into 4 again 12 can be written as 4 into 3 into 4 and square root of 6 36 is 6 square root of 16 4 into 4 will be 4 and root 3 so 24 root 3 so 24 root 3 is the um length of the wire which connects the point o and b now final question what is the angle of depression from the point from the from top of tower to the point o from top of tower means there are we have to consider the point a so from the point a to look at the point o okay we have to keep our down we have to look do, towards down we have to look down so while looking down we have will make angle of depression isn't it so angle of depression is nothing but a, a change in the angle the angle we make with respect to one horizontal line so here it is an horizontal line so we are we will make this angle of depression with with respect to the horizontal line and we assume this uh, line the line which is passing through a and the line which is passing through o are parallel they not assume they are parallel only okay because this tower is standing as a perpendicular one which makes 90 degree here and again it is a perpendicular one okay 90 degree with that line which passes through a so these two are parallel when those two are parallel oa will act as transversal in the transversal line the angles are alternate interior angles are equal so it is 45 degree so automatically the angle of depression will be 45 degree okay so option b will come uh, students i hope you have understood this uh, explanation okay if you have any doubts you please do comment me okay thank you